Nope. I don't like that. What? What was that? That was a big old mosquito. So it's the head of makeup? Head of makeup. <laughs> <laughs> There's Don't not enough the makeup way. in the world to fix this. Tristan, that one. Fix it. Fill them up, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? Good. We didn't change clothes. Nope. I think this is another indication that we didn't film episodes upon episodes upon <laughs> episodes on the same day. No, we never do that. So we have another one of Cody's choices, who, you know, doesn't do any of the research for us. This brings it up. He just takes a bottle and holds it out, like, mm -hmm. do I'm this. The the camera. You're the monkey behind the camera? <laughs> he actually does that too, doesn't he? Yeah. So what do you give it? <laughs> so uh, we have a Taurus 10 Imperial Brandy. So this is our first brandy. Mm -hmm. um, it's a kind of like a cognac. Uh, like it's a distilled wine. And we're not doing it like the hardcore brandy guys where they heat it sit there and heat it up no but we have our little brandy glasses so we can heat it with our skin and we can go like this Swirl it. it's a 80 proof it's a spanish torres is a spanish and at total wines and more it's 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 quite spendy so i'm not sure this is for the common man it's 15 dollars 99 cents so that'll I'll give it a a four barrel <laughs> quite spendy well, you know, it's Cody's. Hey. Cody bought brandy? Actually, I think this was given to him. By that person. Uh oh. <laughs> it smells like brandy, and brandy mm -hmm. smells it's good. It's very aromatic. But have you ever done the heating it up and trying it that way? Nope. You're that's also supposed to put it in your palm to use your hands. That'll knock like your like socks that. off because you get like a candle or something, you heat it up, and then you go, and you're like, yeah, it's quite cold right now. Because all that alcohol goes right in your face. You're supposed to do like that, and then smell and taste it, because it heats it up from the body heat. Smells good. You get it really warm. <laughs> it's the wrong kind of smell. Oh, okay. I was just trying to get it warm. So, uh, if I'm we not... look at aroma, we have uh, a one through five sharp, pungent, mild, light, or pleasant. I'm gonna give it a four. It's pretty, pretty pleasant. I'll, I'll go with that. You'll give it a light or a pleasant. A light. A, a four pleasant, or five. Pleasantly light. I'm giving it a four. You said four. a four. Yeah. I would say a four too because it has a whole lot more flavor in the smell. Which is it? Some alcohol. Is it light? Is it a four or a two? You said you said you give it a four too. <laughs> it. You can definitely smell like the Seriously? grapiness of it. <laughs> grapiness? Right the grapiness? Grape, grapey. Is that a smucker's grape? <laughs> that Sorry. Smells like I'm tired. <laughs> grape value. Grape, uh, no. Grape jam. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to start over. <laughs> I just... I'm just working off of you, buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Flavor. Very alcohol, bitter but palpable, moderate, pleasant, or rich. Blah! No, not really. Hmm. It's powerful. Hmm. I'm trying to decide here. I've decided. It's unique. I've, this is my, Because I don't drink a lot of... I think I may have had this 
already. I think Cody may have given me some, but I've not really delved into the brandy world. Yeah, I don't really drink a lot of brandy, so I'm going to give this a three and a half because I really don't know what I'm basing this on. You haven't delved into the brandy world, but you do like cognac. I do, but this isn't cognac to me. Yeah, but I mean all cognacs different. are brandies. Right. Just not all brandies are cognacs. It makes no sense. <laughs> um, it's like champagne. This, this doesn't give me that cognac um, feel flavor. Good, feel good warmingness. Yeah. Now it might, that other brand that I just bought that's in the decanter that's still there because it's, yeah, it's not as good. It's not bad, but it's not good. Still waiting for Cody's flavor. I go three and a half. Three and a half. I give it a three. I also give it a three for bite. It is 80%. Uh, percent. For the bite? Mm. I'd probably go Actually, I may be completely wrong. Yeah, it's 80%. Or 80 proof. It's 40%. I find the bite just moderate. Or a medium. That's right. That's right. give it a... I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna give it three and a half. How many M's are in that? <laughs> At three and a half. Three and a half. So I give it a 14. Oh, now I got something in my glass. Oh, it's on the outside. It's on the inside. <laughs> 14 is a two and a half for me. Or a three and a half for me. Fifteen for you, and then actually you have a fifteen point five. You are really close to a a four barrel, and Cody's at a fifteen. So you're at three point seven five, and Cody's at three and a half as well. So three and a half beat out three seven five. Mm -hmm. So three and a half barrel. I knew this guy, um, Marco. Just one guy? In Arizona. He's from um, Bulgaria. And he was like... He ah, was, Marco from Bulgaria. He was the big brandy guy. That's where I did the heat it up and everything. He'd be like, you gotta try this, man. Yeah, we might have to try that. It definitely changes the dynamics of it. Just the same as if... It should release the flavor in... Aroma just the same as it's my uh, with eyes with his my uh, lighter over there. <laughs> it disappeared. I guess we we won't be doing it. Um. So how do you drink brandy? It's if it's like a cognac, you just drink it as a after like, dinner yeah, cordial after type dinner. of thing. It's an after dinner drink. Either cognac and brandy are both after dinner drinks. Yeah. And maybe and with a dessert. It's supposed to be like, you hold it in your hand like that, but maybe a little bit wider. So it has well, and these aren't water. true brandy glasses. They're much but bigger. But they also have the larger The versions. true ones are bigger. And thinner glass. Yeah. This is a thicker glass. Because it's supposed to absorb the heat from your hand to release that aromatic flavor mm -hmm. more. And then it's also like with a cigar too. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. After dinner, drinking this with a cigar, they're... I, I'd That's kind of what it's like. I'd go for that. Because brandy is further distilled. I miss wine, cigars. Red wine. <laughs> hmm? I miss cigars. It's pretty good. It's been several years. That's every time we brew beer, we smoke cigar. Not Cody. Hmm? <laughs> Jessica and I smoke cigars. So make sure you check out the Twitter. And the blog. The merch store. The merch store. Hit the like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. And uh, what else? Smash that like button. I think I said that. Nobody ever does it. <laughs> and to Brandy. Torres 10. We might have to try some different brandies. Cheers. Cheers. Later. Cheers, Cody. Yeah. Different brandies. <laughs> Do we got any other different ones? I don't. Oh, yes, we do. I don't have the Paul Mason anymore. Oh, actually, 
Oh, we do Just a second. Oh, forgot about that one. Don Pedro. Don Brandy? Pedro. I don't know. Yep, Brandy. Alright. Don Pedro. We're opening up a whole new... So, coming soon to you in an Don. episode... Sometimes. 18, uh, 19 away. <laughs> we'll be doing Don Pedro. I don't even know where that came from. It just showed up one day. It literally just showed up. I wish it would just up show up on, up on my doorstep. I wake up, here. I come out here, and it's sitting right there, and I'm like, "Cool." <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol fairies. <laughs> Elf on a shelf. Cheers. Later. Bye. No, you're fine. Are we having those tonight? Yeah, they look like they're about to start growing. With the, she bought them used. Okay. Used? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that really doesn't sound right. About used food? Yeah. <laughs> they're in the back of the, in a, basket or in a bag in the corner of the dumpster at the grocery store. You get it off of eBay. That's how we've been shopping for years. You just didn't know. That's how we can afford all the nice things that you get. I got a half eaten chicken fried steak off of eBay for 12 cents. <laughs> I wouldn't surprise me <laughs> if they actually have an eBay. <laughs> yeah. This is a half-eaten piece of fr uh, fried chicken steak that, uh, or chicken fried steak that Elvis was eating when he died. <laughs> going for it. Twelve uh, thousand dollars. So Elvis was eating chicken fried steak on the crapper. <laughs> and the died. chicken fried steak looked like Jesus too. <laughs> And the bidding begins now. <laughs> Which starts the church of Jesus, chicken fried steak, Elvis. Elvis, Jesus, chicken fried steak. <laughs> Hallelujah.